Okay, this time we have a Reeds and Stuff uh, Panzer uh, knife. Now, this is going to be very interesting because you have this flat bevel here, which is fairly straightforward. But then you have this radius curve on there, which is always difficult. Again, the idea is that you can cross over on a bassoon reed or whatever reed and come over and use this radius to get the other side without cutting out the middle. So, um, this is again, a single, as, same as a single bevel for the most part, slightly different technique that we're going to use for rounding the tip. So we're going to use the flat bevel here, and I'm going to cheat a little bit because German steels in general are softer. They're not that hard uh, on these types of knives. The, the steel is stainless. Uh, it's a softer steel in general, not different lower quality per se, but just softer. So what we're going to do is kind of reinforce the steel so it doesn't roll over. Uh, on, on the edge here, you can see how it's rolled back slightly from being used and it just the, the the right here there's a roll and that's because the edge the steel is just too soft it doesn't hold up so a couple things about these types of knives is that one you can't really sharpen them too refined uh they just lose their strength and rigidity uh but they excel at mid ranges so you know if you know this about them then it's okay we're also going to shape this a little bit differently so that it will hold up over use so start off with our, our flat bevel so follow the bevel there. We have this large area before the curve. So we just do that like we would do a normal single bevel. Okay. So we have most of this. And we're already getting a burr. Now we have to contend with this radius. You can see how it stops right before the radius. So what we're going to do is, and this is the tricky part, basically I'm going to lift up the, he the, the handle. Just lift it up. And, and go normal stroke, so here, and then, all right, and that starts the radius. And so it's a very slow going process, and you can come back with it if you want, but say for just lifting up the handle, you can see what I'm doing here, starting off with the bevel, coming forward, and then transitioning to the curve, and it's starting to take some of that so you just got to sometimes play with it in order to get the very edge so I'm starting to get that whole thing and we'll come back and put it together again way more advanced than <laughs> most people are ready for but kind of necessary in order to get this sharpened and because of the buffing that they did I got to come back and actually round that over <laughs> this is not 101. It's definitely a bit more. Okay. So we basically have a burr going across the whole thing right now. Don't worry so much about getting the face perfect and as aesthetically pleasing as I have. Thank you very much. Uh, worry more about getting the burr because this is going to be here. So what we're going to do here is cheat. We have a, a nice burr. We're not going to do the other side yet. So what we're going to do is put a little micro bevel now because that will help the steel stay in place uh, as it scrapes. It won't get pushed back so readily. So what we're going to do here is put it on there, the bevel flat. We're going to raise it up just slightly. Okay, here's where you can put a coin underneath. It's usually what we do uh, or muscle memory will do that. But just a little bit to put a little bevel on there. And basically what we're going to do, going to come forward and well first you can establish that bevel so you can actually go forward or backward because you have this long area here that's fine then the tricky part is to follow this contour without changing your angle it's basically lifting my elbow it's from the elbow so in my angle here some more space yeah i don't know how much this person uses on that round radius but that's the micro bevel we're putting on. And we can see the beginnings of a secondary bevel being formed all the way around. All right, so now the bevel is uh, the that the burr is very strong here. Now this again, this is supposed to be flat. Um, we're not going to mess with putting a secondary bevel on here. We're going to just kind of see if it goes flat. Again, we're going to push on the front. and that gets rid of the burr. So I got my burr now on the front. So it's reinforced basically for the back. 
So we're just going to come in and wipe that off. Let me do it again because my hand was in the way. So we're going to come here, got my angle, come forward, and the radius. Okay, so that's basically the best way to sharpen this blade. 